Hi everyone and happy Thanksgiving. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a whole turkey in our RV microwave convection oven. So you can't cook without drinking a little bit while you're cooking. It's no fun during the holidays. So um, we don't really have any other alcohol in the house except for this uh, corn whiskey that we bought in South Carolina at Lucky Duck Distillery. So we figured I'd take a quick little shot of this before I continue my turkey cooking. I think that's probably it. Honey, that's moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd recommend maybe having some white wine instead. So. We are gonna start off with your turkey. Now you wanna make sure you don't get a turkey that's probably any bigger than 10 pounds because it's not gonna fit in your uh, convection oven. Um, and to bake it, we also wanted to use uh, the camping and uh, cooking ware that we already had in the RV. So I just used my regular like cooking pan that I have here and we made a makeshift kind of rack out of some skewers as you can see here. Uh, also for the ingredients, I'm sticking to a super simple uh, recipe. Uh, I just have salt and pepper to season and then I have some chicken broth for basting. Alright, let's get this bad boy open. Let's see what's going on in here. Probably not the most exciting job. All right, so make sure you give it a good rinse down. Okay, so now I've cleaned the turkey. I put it in our rack, breast side up, and I'm just going to uh, brine it, put some salt all over it. Uh, that way it tastes, tastes real good. And I know there's like different people have different methods of how they do this, and some people put it under the skin, some people put it over, but this is just my really fast cooking my turkey. So this is how I'm going to, to do it. For the basting of the turkey, you want to put two cups of liquid on the bottom of your roasting pan. Now um, I'm going to use chicken broth. You can also use vegetable broth or you can just use plain water. It's uh, totally up to you. but. While it's heating up and getting ready, I'm going to pour two cups in to the bottom of this pan. Okay, so for how long you should cook your turkey, it's a rule of thumb that you want to cook your turkey for 13 to 15 minutes per pound. Uh, so we just weighed this, and this is actually about a 12 pound turkey. So we're going to probably want to have it in there for little less than three hours but ours did come with a popper so we'll be able to tell with that too or you also want your turkey to read a hundred and sixty five degrees Fahrenheit you stick it in the breast and the thigh so as you can tell from that beep the oven is now preheated um, what I am going to do is turn the heat down to 350 degrees um, and put the turkey in to cook. So now that the turkey is in the oven, every 45 minutes to an hour, I'm going to turn the turkey and baste it. Uh, just because the heat source comes from the left side of the microwave, I want to make sure that we get an even cooking on both sides of the turkey. Oh yeah, my turkey's baking. All right, so the turkey's been in here for about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna take it out and baste it. Now, you wanna make sure you take it out really slow so we don't spill any of our basting juice. And we wanna close it right away so we don't let all the heat escape. So 
So the convection oven comes with three size racks. So we just use the lowest rack in order to fit the turkey inside the microwave. But you want to make sure you do use the rack so you get heat underneath the turkey pan for it to cook evenly. So now that I basted it, I'm going to put it back in, but I'm going to turn it around so we get some cooking on the other side as well. Okay, so our turkey is done. I just took it out. Um, our popper came out, which was good, but I also tested the temperature. So you want it to read 165 degrees. Um, so what I do is just stick it into the breast meat here and uh, read the temperature. And it's at it's climbing, so it's a little bit over. It's 169. So perfect. Um, and then what you do now is you basically uh, let it rest for at least 30 minutes to make sure you get all the juices out. Either put it on a cutting board or put it on another dish. Put some aluminum foil over it. Let it rest for 30 minutes. Chop it up and eat it. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to the blog directly on livinglight.net and you'll receive email updates of all of our posts. No!